Hi everyone! Today we are going to show you how to preheat the machine. First, we will have to open the air valve. This is a home use pressure reducing valve. We must use the low pressure valve, not the medium or the high pressure valve. Otherwise, the meter will be damaged. Next, we need to turn on this power switch on the back of the machine. This is the main power switch. This is the governor of the drum, and sometimes we need to use it during the baking process. When we turn it on, the power light is on. This is USB. And we connect the computer through this. When we connect the computer, we can see the grave which is recorded in the computer. Now what we see is the control panel. The first thing we see is the operation. When we turn on the switch, the exhaust fan and the drum will start to rotate. It is the double function, which means a button with two functions. This button is used for ignition. When we press this button and the red light is on, you need to adjust the pressure gauge to the left. The pressure gauge is adjusted to the left to increase and to the right to decrease. The value of this pressure gauge cannot be adjusted above 3. If the value exceeds 3, it will be destroyed. The pressure required by the roaster is within 3. This button means stop. When do we use it? For example, when we start the ignition, the red light is on and we adjust the pressure gauge. If the ignition fails, we will hear a beep sound, which means we have to press the stop button. This button is cooled down. When we press this button, the cooling play will start. One more thing we are supposed to know is that when we finish roasting and open the door to take out the coffee beans, we must first turn on the cooling function, if not, the fan inside the machine will be broken. This is the time button, when we press it, the time will be reset to zero, and we can also record the time required for preheating or the time required for roasting. This is for roasting temperature, this is for air temperature. What do the T greens mean? They represent the set temperature. We see a panel of two keys here, which tells us the temperature is locked. We should not adjust the value of the dial at view because we have default value. If the user adjusts these values, it may damage the dial, or you will have to reset the value, which is very troublesome. The white number says the temperature of the coffee beans and the top temperature of the drum. Once the temperature of the drum reaches 250 degrees Celsius, the machine will automatically start off. This is for protective purpose. The number on the line means the same. This is one of our extra. It's an air pressure gauge. You see this pie is linked here. This air temperature is brought here through this roller, so it detects the pressure of the beam. This is the damper manual. We can set the number to 2 and then start the ignition again. The value may go to around 3 when we roast. If we need to dehydrate, dehydrate the first, second, or small, we may need to adjust the value to 5 or 6, sometimes even 7. This depends on the coffee beans and what the user actually requires too. This is the silver skin container. When we collect about 4 to 5 trays of coffee beans, we need to open a lock and pour around the silver skins. This is a small exhaust device. These pies and other devices here need to be maintained regularly. We have already told you how to maintain in another episode. Now before we are going to start the ignition, we must make sure this various too. Turn this, this and this off. Then we press this keyboard to start the ignition. When this light comes on, we start to adjust this. Remember, we can't adjust the value too much. Now, we have finished the ignition. We can adjust the fire power to be strong and we based on demand. So, that's how the machine is preheating and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Thank you all for watching.